Well, welcome to this one. We're going to talk about how to construct a number line. And I'm sure you've looked at number lines and used number lines before. I know I've got one at the front of my class. And often they look like this. They have a zero in the middle, and then they have some positive numbers to the right and some negative numbers to the left, often counting by ones. Now there's some very important characteristics of a number line. The most important characteristic is that the larger numbers are to the right. As we read from left to right, the numbers get bigger. You might say that it's important that a number line has zero in it, but it's not. Zero is just a number. It doesn't have to be in the middle. It doesn't even have to be on your number line. What is important is that the distance between your marks is the same or close to same. If I have a jump of one, if I'm counting by ones, then this distance between zero and one should be the same as the distance between one and two. Now I don't have to count by ones, I could count by twos. If I wanted to put zero on the left, then I could count two, four, six, eight, and so on, you can see that the distance between 0 and 2 is nearly the same as the distance between 2 and 4, 4 and 6, 6 and 8, 8 and 10. It doesn't have to be exact, but you're looking for a very similar distance. I could even count by a number less than 1. If I wanted to, I could count by halves. I've put 0 over here on the right, and I've made a couple of marks on here. If I were counting by halves, my first mark would be one half. My second mark would be two halves, which is the same as one whole. On the other side of zero, going to the left, negative one half, negative two halves, which is the same as negative one, negative three halves, negative four halves, which is the same as negative two, negative five halves, and so on. So there are some different ways that you can make a number line. Okay. Now all of these number lines I've drawn have been horizontal number lines. They've been going across like the horizon. The horizon is the meeting of the sky and the ground. I could also draw a vertical number line. And you've seen vertical number lines before maybe on a thermometer. Vertical number lines have the same characteristics as horizontal number lines, except that the larger numbers are towards the top. I'm making this vertical number line count by fives. When you deal with a number line, you've got to be sure that you are making your number line in a method that makes sense to you. I can do counting by ones, smaller numbers to the left, larger numbers to the right. I could count by twos. This number line counts by twos and only has positive numbers on it. My zero is on the left. I can even count by fractions or decimals if I wanted to. Your number line only needs three really important characteristics. A consistent scale, that means you're counting by the same amount between marks, either by ones, twos, fives, halves, you could count by tenths. You could even count by three and a halves if you really wanted to. As long as you label your number line, that's okay. And that's the last important thing. Your number line needs to be labeled. You want to make sure that you show what your lumber line represents. It'll be make it easier for you to read it and for others to understand what you're doing.